What's the best type of protein for our gut microbiome? Now, I know what you're thinking. When you think about the gut microbiome, you don't really think about protein. You think about fiber and other fermentable carbohydrates. When these fermentable carbohydrates make it into our colon, where our microbiome resides, this allows them to ferment them into short chain fatty acids and other beneficial compounds that improve gut health and our overall health. However, it's important to point out that since these carbohydrates and fibers are not bioavailable to us, this is what makes them more bioavailable to our microbiome. We can't break them down and we can't absorb them. So they're sticking around till the end of the digestive tract. This brings us to protein. Protein can actually have beneficial effects on our gut microbiome. It can help promote diversity and lead to the production of metabolites of tryptophan known as indoles, which again, much like short chain fatty acids, have beneficial effects in our gut and through our overall health. However, it's the type of protein that matters the most. Most people think, and they've probably heard this a million times on social media, that animal proteins are better than plant-based proteins. However, this is context dependent. Animal-based proteins are better for us in that they are more bioavailable, meaning that we will break them down, we will absorb them, and these amino acids can be assimilated into our proteins, making us bigger and stronger. However, more bioavailable to us is less bioavailable to our microbiome. And additionally, on top of this, the things that generally come packaged with animal-based proteins, we're talking about fats, saturated fats, as well as sulfur-based amino acids, these can become problematic if in large quantities in our gut. They can lead to the production of things such as p sulfate or hydrogen sulfide, which are genotoxic to the cells in our colon, or ammonia, which you've probably heard of before. Now, plant-based proteins are a lot different. They are more bioavailable to our microbiome, meaning we don't break them down, we don't absorb them, so they make it all the way through to the colon where the microbiome resides. And these can lead to the production of beneficial compounds, these indoles that we were talking about. And this is because plant-based proteins have glycans attached to them, and these glycans are carbohydrates. Carbohydrates that would count towards the fiber portion of the nutrition label. Now, when they get to the, um, into the colon, these packages of glycans and proteins are acted upon by all the bacteria. Some bacteria that can ferment fiber act on the glycan, break it apart, liberating the protein and the amino acids so that they can be acted on by other microbes, leading to greater diversity in the gut microbiome. This is really important to understand that this doesn't mean that you should not eat animal-based proteins. It does not mean that you should only eat plant-based proteins. It means that you should eat both in your diet. Animal proteins for you, plant-based proteins for your microbiome. Now, there are other nuances that are important. When people think of plant-based proteins, they think, oh, I'm gonna go get some pea protein powder, or maybe some soy protein isolate. This is not what you wanna do. These protein powders are made to be more bioavailable to you, meaning they are broken down basically into the constituent amino acids where you can consume them, break them down and absorb them and assimilate them into your muscle protein, which is great if you're a vegan who's looking for a more bioavailable protein that isn't based on an animal product, but it's not great if you're trying to improve your gut microbiome. You want whole food based protein. So we're talking about grains, nuts, legumes, seeds. These things come packaged together so that this protein is time released in the colon and can lead to the production of these beneficial metabolites. So include more of these things in your diet. Don't look for protein powders or supplements to help improve your gut microbiome by giving you these different types of proteins. Consume the whole foods so that the proteins get to the microbiome where they need to be.